welcome back. If you didn't know this yet, your host here is an architect and we recently purchased a laser measure to append the one that we have been using on site, which fell down and experienced the problems with the trigger. So let's get this out of the way for now and see what's inside this box. This device is basically called the LSP. It's an OEM and uh, brands can just rebrand it as they see fit. You see in the packaging that it came in, it's called the Duca LSP 40 meters. And this was supposedly a Xiaomi sub brand or me sub brand. Uh, it's very light, it's full aluminum and high precision, of course. It has a 7 millimeter tolerance. You can calibrate it to plus or minus 7. So, inside the package, you'll find this a guide in English. Good thing to know. And yeah, so it talks about how you are going to use this because this does have a lot of functions but uh, we'll talk about that in a little while so here's the device here it is this is the device so as you can see it's very small we'll compare it to like a usb stick right there so it's really small you can use it as a keychain now it's just um around 8.5 millimeters really small incredibly so and it works as you can see here let's try it it will do it on the side there. If you can see, this goes up to 30. So we'll try it using this. Match it there. And then put something it can hit at the end over here at zero. Activate it. So as you can see, it's always have it has a backlight and can turn that off if you want it so it's really quite accurate so that's two measurements it says 299 which is basically yes yeah, three i measured it three times and it output the same value so if you can see here, let me see if I can adjust the focus so that we can see it better. What's that? So, turn on the backlight. Okay. So, let's just let it measure up to there and as you can see, there is something over here at the top which moves. It's actually an angle measurement. Yeah. So apart from the uh, straightforward ruler type, it also has, it also measures the angle. Now it has just two buttons and it's charged via a micro USB. So the functions are, so it measures like a normal ruler, like that. And then you can do a continuous measurement on it by holding it. And when the min-max appears, 
And if you can see it right here, I will try it. Elevate it. So it measures minimum and maximum values. Like that. And then it has some... In the video, it's a little bit bright below, but uh, from me, we're seeing it up front. It's an even color alter. So this button here is for the advanced features. Like the first one is for an area measurement. Second one is for volume. Third one is a Pythagorean measurement. Can see it very well here. And then fifth one is a like a double. And this one is you get the length of a, a segment from two angle measurements. Now that's the angle. If you want to get out of the advanced modes, you just long press it until just the bottom is left. And then if you want to turn it off, you just long press it again around 5 seconds. And it turns itself off. Now, it's good and all that, but the issue is if you're using this on site, it's... Uh, it's very small, so it's hard to handle, uh, despite what it might look like. Now, the measurement is taken either from the base or from the top, and you change that with the long press here also. So one of the other problems here is, apart from it being hard to handle, is that because there's only two buttons, you have to, the user, must be able to remember how to get to all those functions. So that's one of the differences with something like this. This is also an OEM thing. Uh, you have all the functions clearly outlined for you right there. Um, also to note, because when this came in, I was... Uh, I opened this, I was bold enough to open it because, you know, I already have a replacement. So I found out that these are membrane and uh, somehow it feels like it's repaired. So, yeah. Uh, this retails for under a thousand bucks, a thousand pesos. So it's really cheap. And it's really useful, especially for designers who, you know, I could, I could literally just put this in my bag right next to my uh, pens and it's always with me. And because it charges via USB micro, I can charge it with a power bank also without the need for changing batteries. But also, for example, you're doing something on site and you are doing measurements and you suddenly lose power here. You can't readily change it, unlike on a bigger one such as this, which uses just AAA batteries. You can have a backup ready all the time and you would not fear like that you will be losing uh, power during measurement. Of course, you can do that here, but you will have to wait a little bit, charge it before using it again. Or if you are going to a site, you know, charge it beforehand so you would be sure. Mm. So I find that it works well, but also because it's small, all the issues of it being small are present here. Mm. It's not very easy to 
show the measurement to somebody else because it's it shows it just like small number there and back here you can if i measure something you can see it outright if i show it to you this one can see it also but it's quite small like half of the display and also if it's on it always has a faint glow of the laser i don't know if you can see it here but it's here we'll look at the camera see you can see the red it's always on even if you're not measuring so when you activate the measurement it just shines it more and then it takes the measure but it's always constantly there even if you haven't activated it you see it here it's preparing to measure so all in all i think it's a very good purchase um it's a good addition to the bag i might just you know replace this with some sticker or something but if you wanted or if you're a new designer and you ju just need something to measure with this is a very good option i will put links to the where i bought this they shipped it pretty quickly and yep i hope that helps you in purchasing your very own laser measure see you guys next time bye bye